know, when you're speaking once every two months, you don't say much more than, than I love you, and you basically just cry. Um, whereas if you're speaking twice a week, you talk about what you've done during the day and, and your news and, and a much closer understanding of each other's lives. Um, Gabriella is living with her grandparents, so I can speak to her more frequently. The challenge there is she can't speak English now, um, so it's, it's always translated. So Nazanin went on holiday and she was picked up and the, the things that you've seen in the newspapers are things that she did like 10 years ago uh, when she was an assistant on a small project. That doesn't feel to me like that they were in any genuinely way suspicious of, of her activities because there are no activities. It has long felt that, that her case was political. For 20 months I've been battling to, to bring them home and rather than being a real husband it's as much being a campaign husband and trying to you know, keep her idea alive. My point was that I disagreed with the Iranian view that training journalists was a crime. Not that I wanted to lend any credence to Iranian allegations that Mrs. Zaghari Ratcliffe had been engaged in such activity. I accept that my remarks could have been clearer in that respect and I'm glad to provide this clarification. His comments are being used but they don't cause that, that second court case. Um, and we will find out uh, how damaging they are um, on, on Sunday. So on Sunday she's going to be in court again for that full hearing. We'll see what, what the consequences are. Certainly what's been the case has been all sorts of media attention in Iran as well as here, calling her a spy and saying that she was involved in a big spy network and using his comments as confirmation. He, he's retracted his comments, and that was really important to us, but they're still using the original comments and, and, you know, in a quite manipulative way. I think in public, the government has never stood up for Nazanin. It took a long time to say she's on holiday, she's innocent, this isn't, isn't true. And it took 19 months and, and you know, having said the opposite first before that was, was said. So no one from the embassy has ever been able to see Nazanin, despite all that she's been through. Um, and that's shocking, that's shocking. So my message, which was the message I gave to Boris Johnson behind closed doors, which was to make it really clear that Nazanin is a British citizen and that she needs to be home with her family and that she's suffered plenty enough um, and to just do what you can. Please find a way to get her home for Christmas.